Sup everyone, Ryan's Blade One here, and um, today, uh, and uh, well, I'm I'm gonna talk about this uh, new whole PlayStation uh, Neo that's also coming out. So this is just gonna be my quickie on, uh, sort of a quickie on the. See, fuck, and I just died. It's gonna be a quickie on uh, what what I'm. What are, I guess are sort of my thoughts on this whole 4K consoles, like between the Neo and the uh, new Xbox One Scorpio that is coming out. I am a little disappointed that the PS4 Neo won't be matching uh, the specs really for the Xbox One Scorpio because like according to what one of my friends said and from so far what I had seen from the specs anyway, uh, at least previously, it did look like the PS, uh, pardon me, the Xbox Scorpio was going to have a bit of an advantage. I don't know, but of course, there wasn't that many details and I didn't see them at the time, but according to what my friend was saying, uh, he said that the, uh, the PS4, Neo, and the Scorpio were going to be basically like how, think of it like how Xbox and PS4 are to net right now, just in reverse, which means that obviously the PS4 Neo is not going to be quite as powerful as the Scorpio. So I was a little disappointed with that. I was hoping when this Neo came out that it was going to be at least matching the power of the Scorpio. But unfortunately it's not. So what does this mean? Well, obviously uh, there's better specs now on the, uh, between the, or there's better specs on the Xbox One Scorpio rather than the, uh, come on, die. There's going to be uh, better specs on the Xbox One Scorpio. Again. Not uh, so surprising, I guess, but... No, oh, fuck. Where did that guy go? Fuck. Damn it. Clearly, I'm not the sharpest tool in the shed for finding a guy like that, but... Okay, or anyway, back on topic. Um, yeah, w so I'm... I it's hard to say what's going to happen now with the, in terms of games and things like that. You know, are they, you know, you're going to be upscaled into 4K, obviously, and then you've got uh, the the two consoles, uh, you know, with the better hardware now with the PS Xbox One Scorpio, it obviously is going to be a more, um, uh, how should I say, uh, looked at like a more better console to go with with the added hardware, but still, the thing about PlayStation right now is that it still has a lot of the exclusives comparing to the, to the Xbox. So, Microsoft now seems to, obviously it's kept its uh, wits about, you know, it's, it's kept the Xbox going in spite of all the backlash it's had over the years and things like that. But, uh, fuck. Fuck that person's good. I'm gonna have to choose a different gun. And with when the exclusive, if the exclusives are going to be, you know, does this mean that the developers are now going to be going with more, uh, you know, leaning towards a lot more with Xbox now or something? I mean, uh, I, it's hard. It's just something I'd, uh, you know, uh, like, you know, are they going to probably be more, be wanting to do more business with Microsoft rather than Sony now because of this new added hardware? We don't know exactly how the success will be for him, obviously, but, Shield you know, it is definitely, critical. I think it's definitely a possibility that many more developers are now going to be more wanting to deal with the Xbox Scorpio rather than just the PS4 Neo 4K. But that being said, damn it, somebody already, somebody already beat me to the kill for that person. But that being said, it still means that uh, they're, I wouldn't say they're giving up on the Finally got you, you little bastard. Killing me twice like that. So. I wouldn't say that all the exclusives are going to go immediately right to uh, uh, Xbox. I know, I'm not saying that. But, you know. This is definitely going to give them a bit of, uh, quite a bit of an edge in my books anyway. Uh, over what the, what the developers are going to be doing. Uh, and, but... It's, uh, it's, I mean, it's just hard for me to say. I mean, I'm, I'm kind of rambling here as well, but it's just, uh, in in theory, you know, obviously, I'm thinking that it's a possibility. Though it's highly, admittedly, highly doubtful that it'll happen. And I got killed by that. I got killed by a fucking 
Jeez. I think it's a definite pos... You know, I think it's just a possibility that I'm kind of throwing out there, though. Probably <laughs> a little unlikely. Uh, but... So, uh, but this is definitely one thing that is definitely, I'm going to say, a kind of... Uh, thing to be worried about is pricing. How, you know, I looked at the Xbox One S already. The pricing for it, at least here in Canada, is about 500 bucks. That's not that much more expensive over the, you know, the regular Xbox, or pardon me, the, the regular PS4 right now. That is definitely a price high, you know, definitely an extra, a jump price height, rather than the, uh, uh, you. But that, that is definitely a price drop when it comes to the Xboxes, anyway, as of right now. Um, as for the PlayStation, compared to get to the PlayStation, it's not a not a big uh, price increase. It's only about I think it's about like roughly 50 bucks more if you put it in, you know, Canadian anyway here. So, as for the but for the Scorpio, I don't think there's any been price comparisons as of yet right now for the Scorpio. So how on earth? How they plan on keeping the price down for that uh, kind of console is <laughs> beyond me. I'm thinking, I'm, th I'm guessing here in Canada we're going to be at least looking at uh, about, uh, I would say, probably five, six hundred bucks probably for the console. If that's the case, the hype train for 4K, in my opinion, is not really all that, not really worth six hundred bucks. I mean, not for me anyway, not in my opinion. And... It's uh, it's just hard to say what the developers are also going to be doing with both consoles. You know, are they still going to be as leaning towards PS4, which they have been for a while, or are they going to can you know start you know switching over more to uh, places to Sony's side? You know, it's, uh, but that being said, I'm sure there's a history between it rather than just uh, as easy as it is being. You know, oh shit, I actually got the kill for that. I'm sure there's a bit more of a history behind it rather than just it, you know, being fuck. Being that they were uh, dealing with just Sony just because they were had the hard added hardware, you know. There's also some, sh you know, the shady business practices of 2013, obviously, which people are probably going to consider old news, but still, people remember that stuff. Now, the, one of the reasons why the in my opinion, why the Xbox was selling so well was because of the darn pricing. It is definitely a... Fuck, come on. This one's leaving me out here to... Ugh. Fine. It was definitely a, a price drop that was really cool, and I was uh, sort of considering the Xbox when it came down further in price. You know, I was just kind of thinking, well, you know what? Oh, shit. I actually got him. Yeah, I'm here. Uh, ah, shit. Am I lagging out again? Fuck my life. Okay, well, back to the topic. Point is, I'm hoping that you know, obviously, that this doesn't mean that all the exclusives are just gonna go out, pack up, pack their bags, and leave X and or pardon me, leave PS4. You know, because I, that's the last thing I definitely want to see, but. Still, I cannot see that happening. But it is kind of disappointing that the 4K uh, whole hype train is... Well, it's, it's uh, like it's there, but, you know, it's an expensive train to be on. That's for damn sure. Oh, someone's got fireworks. That's pretty cool. Ah, oh, die, you fucking tank. Ugh. Wailing on him for oh no wonder you got a fucking repairman looking after you shit. Ugh, this is gonna be a lot of work. Okay, but I don't know. What do you guys think is gonna be with the future with these consoles anyway? In terms of with the uh, hardware, you know that's gonna be jumped up. I mean the the older if the I just pray to God that. Both Sony and Microsoft are not so stupid as to throw their consoles under the bus, like the older consoles, but and just completely loot trashing all support by them. Because that would be a, a extremely stupid move on my on obviously that I would say. But you know, whoops. 
It's hard to for it's I, I think it's just hard to the say what's gonna happen. I just hope that that uh, we're not gonna you know so, so the Japan guys not gonna lose out on their exclusives. So anyway, I'm kind of rambling here for a little bit, uh, and not really much that I could really say on this whole thing. But uh, I guess we'll just have to wait and see what what happens in the future. So. Anyway, uh, I might play a stick for a few minutes on here, just to show you guys a little bit more action for this game, and uh, I guess I'll talk to you later. That's all my thoughts on it, so have a good one, guys. Peace.